having a great weekend um as for me my weekend has been pretty chill i haven't done a lot by choice i didn't feel like going outside i didn't feel like it was cold this weekend over here in new york city so i just didn't feel like dealing with it um i did my hair yesterday i did like a short style and i kind of love it it's so cute you guys i did that um i helped gavin with some work because we do extra work here on the weekend so um, we did some reading a whole bunch of stuff um like that i didn't do anything to i didn't even cook dinner um we just ordered out um and that's about it and then today i'm going to food shopping this evening when my husband gets home from work so i'm waiting for him to get here so that we can go head out um we're gonna do a little a little food shopping nothing too crazy just some things that we needed here that we need to pick up so i'm looking forward to that um and oh yeah, today I also made sofrito, aka sazon. Um, it's like a bunch of herbs blended together for me to cook with and season my food with. So I did that as well. It's a little time consuming because you have to like peel these garlic heads and all this stuff. Um, but we did that and um, that's about it. I hope you guys have a great week. Hope you guys are ready to start the work week or whenever you do start. I hope you feel good. I hope that... Um, you have you accomplish your goals this week i hope all those good things for you guys um and thank you again for subscribing to my channel thanks for coming back thanks for watching thanks for everything and just i appreciate you guys so much and i th so thankful for all of it and also one more thing just remember to be kind to yourself every single day every single time that you don't accomplish something just remember that you can try again and just be kind to yourself and just be at peace with everything you guys do and just just feel good. myself almost being upset that i had to go into work in the afternoon today versus in the morning um i don't want to <laughs> but i have to go but i'm grateful that i have a job so i'm just like okay yeah sure so i'm having lunch with my husband right here who's home what's up baby it's part of the reason <laughs> i'm having lunch before i go He's trying, be, he's trying this to be. He's trying to. Has chia seeds in it. He's trying to be healthy now. This has chai, what is it called? Chia seeds. Chia seeds. Yeah. He's trying to be healthy now. So that's good for me. Delicious best thing I've ever had in my life. So good. Such a baby. <laughs> What's up? That's some records. Some old school joints. Oh, what I meant to tell you to talk about. Was people with um, iPhones. Oh, God. And um, how every day, you know, I work for the subway. Mm -hmm. So every day I see people with these earbuds, you know, the earbuds, and it's a wireless. You know, I'm old. All my headphones have um, <laughs> have cords. <laughs> you really, have iPhones. Nah, oh, I don't have a high iPhone, but if I, if I did have an iPhone, I would still have cords on my, on my, on my um, headphones. So it's crazy. How much do those things cost, anyway? The, I, the, the, well, it doesn't even matter, because it's crazy when I see people... All right, I'm waiting on the platform. This lady, she's, like, fixing her scarf. You tell them what you do for work, right? Yeah, I work for, for the subway, for MTA. 
I'm a conductor, right? Staying clear of closing doors. That's me. <laughs> you know, everybody loves us. <laughs> but, um... Slammed doors into people's faces. I never, I, how dare you? you I've never slammed the door on anybody in my life. All right, go ahead, your, 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 so, your story. I'm waiting on a platform. This is after work. You know, I'm out of uniform because, you know, people are annoying when you got your uniform on. <laughs> so I'm, stand, I'm, I'm standing there. This lady, she's fixing her scarf. Airbud falls onto the track. Boop, it hits the, it hits the um, platform edge and goes boop, right into the, right into the tracks, right? No hesitation. Shorty jumps onto the track, like, immediately, as soon as it fell, boop, she jumps down, gets to that one. Now, she's down there. So, I'm on the platform. I I went to the help oh thing, God. which nobody uses, mm -hmm. and I press emergency. And I'm oh like, yo, God. this lady just jumped down onto the road bed for an air pod. So, but why? Okay, so that's the same thing I said. I don't be, that bad. She didn't even check to see, like, is the train coming? How soon is the train coming? As soon as it fell down, she said, oh my God, and jumped down. So now the lady's oh like God. five, had to be like five, two. Mm -hmm. She can't get back up onto the platform. She's trying to carry, bring herself up. She can't carry herself back up. So. This whole time, I'm like, oh, man, this lady's about to die. Either. No, no. <laughs> but then people come and help us. So I'm talking to the guy. I'm like, yo, this lady. So she's like, we're going to send assistance, blah, blah, blah. So in my mind, I'm thinking, wait, all right. I didn't even get to there yet. So she jumps down there. So no train comes. She jumps down. She can't get back up. She's trying to pull. I guess her upper body strength is not short enough to pull herself back up. Right. And she's short. People don't notice how deep it is from the platform to the road bed. People think it's like, oh, it's right there. I can jump down and yeah, jump back up. Her. She could not get back up. So people help her up. That's so so she's like, oh, my God. So then That's she so takes dumb. the earbud, right, that, mind you, fell on the road bed. And uh -huh. she's just like this, right? She goes. And she's like, you know what? I should probably clean this up before I put it back in my ear. Uh and I'm like, so you worried about uh, your ear being clean, but you didn't care about your life on the tracks. That's wild. Think about that, Ma. She, her, That's her, funny. her her brain started to work after she got the earbuds to say, okay, maybe I don't want to get an ear infection, so right. I'm going to put this dirty like earbud. Your whole body got to, your whole like, body was about to get an infection. Got mad when that big ass, no, not even that. <laughs> she didn't even think about the consequences of the big ass metal train. Oh, yeah. Coming to kill her. <laughs> See what I'm saying? I thought about the train only because you guys can stop it. That's why I'm kind of like. Mom, but you can't stop all those trains when you come to the station. Crazy? You know what's crazy? can't stop those. You know crazy when cell phones first, like, exist? Remember how first, like, 2001, when cell phones started coming around or whatever? My mom mm -hmm. had her. <laughs> she, I was using her. Every time I used to go out, I used to use her cell phone, right? Yeah. And The slip joint? Yeah, like a flip phone that she got from Sprint, her first mm -hmm. phone. So I used to be like, oh, I'm going to go out, Mom. And she used to be like, all right, take my cell phone. Right? I dropped it. In 59th Street, Columbus Circle. You dropped it? Yeah, I looked at it. I said, oh, shit. I Why did you not get it? No, fuck that. <laughs> I said, oh, shit, I'm going to be in trouble. I'm like, mom, drop the phone. Oh, my God, man. I don't think I want to get it. I'm going to call you. And I said, like, I mean, oh, the thing is that you just get a new one. That's it. It's not that crazy. You feel me? Like, But the whole, all right. First of all, the moral of the story is. Leave your shit. No, be old and have headphones with cords. Nah, no, I'm joking. Leave your shit. That's my story. The moral of the story is, is your physical. life is your life really worth an earbud? Mm -hmm. Imagine that imagine the train would have came tumbling through the station and killed her. Right? She would have had her family would have had to live with the fact that she died for a an earbud. Right. For an earbud, B. If you needed it, baby. Nah, the thing about it is, is that it's just an airbud. I'm like, yo, these shits must be worth people's life to jump yeah. in, to jump. Well, my also, it just showed how addicted people are to these shits. Yeah. She didn't even, all right, she cared more about the airbud than her life, first of all. She yeah, didn't even notice that. You're expensive. But she only took into accountability her health when she thought about putting a dirty airbud into her ear. Not at the train here. Not even about dying. Moral of the story. We come to New York City. <laughs> we come to New York City. Stand back. <laughs> if you drop something on the tracks, just leave it. It's not worth it. Just get help. They'll help you get it. Somebody will help you. Use what? Use listen. Use the help point intercom on the platform. Oh God. Nobody uses that. MTA man. Nobody uses that. Be just press the button. They'll send somebody down to come come get it for you. So you won't have to worry about it. Don't risk your life for how much are earbuds? Like two hundred, three hundred dollars? I don't know. 
or just be old like me and have the head flex with the cord. No, exactly. Well, I wish our phone doesn't have. I can't plug my phone into it. You gotta have a wireless, but. But we have the other ones that come You know how many times my cord saved my phone from dropping? Mm -hmm. Think about a cord. A cord. Oh. I made it to work, you guys. I'm going to start working now. I should be here for a few hours. Not too bad. And this is super important because uh, because it's super important because we are you know we're young and stuff and we like to do weekend things. So this determines he gets to pick his job for the entire summer and which days off he'll have for the summer, all the way until I think September, October. Yeah. So it's very important that we pick something that works for us because I mean summertime I do something to do all the time, but the weekends are the best thing. Right, I, I'm pretty sure I'm too new in the game to get I know you keep a hope alive, but I appreciate you're moving you. up all the time. I know we're moving seniority. up. Seniority, but it's a it's a very slim chance I'm gonna get weekends. But hopefully we just get something close, maybe like uh, Thursday, Friday, so we can go. Yeah, that's good. Or Sunday, Monday. That's good. Too. Or Monday, Tuesday. Well, Sunday, Monday is the weekend. Yeah. Or it's all part of the weekend. Yeah. So we can try to like um, take advantage of the weekend as much as we can. Well, like. Knowing us, like we we have worked with like being off Wednesday, Thursday, Tuesday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Wednesday right and like we'll like in the summertime it's easier because Gavin's off of school, so we'll take like little trips and stuff. But and we'll do little things then. But um, and also there's like no, nobody anywhere when we do things on Tuesday or Wednesday or Wednesday Thursday. I'm telling you, yo, listen. But the I'm weekends are what we want because yeah, we, we want to do weekend activities, yeah, like, especially in the summertime. Right, especially our alone time it requires weekends. But I'm not ever gonna hold you. Not, Tuesday, Wednesday, it's not bad day. You would think like days off during the week. Days off during the week are not bad. Like, right. Everywhere you go is empty. You go to the movies. You know we don't go to the movies, but yeah, you like go to the supermarket. It's empty. Right. You go to empty. the bank. Empty. You go anywhere. You get. You basically get to enjoy the city. Yeah. With nobody around. So he's nervous weird. a little bit because nah, he wants to. What I want, man. Yeah. Even though I'm too. I'm, <laughs> I'm too, um, and when he used to work nights, me. it was horrible. And yeah, now yeah. I don't so want to go back because I'm like, no. I might have to go PMs. No. Or oh, midnight? You want to go midnights? No. I might have to go midnights because he gets home at two o'clock now. It is beautiful. Right it's now. crazy. He gets he leaves really early, but he gets home at two o'clock, and that's like because we could still do a whole bunch of things, and then he has to be in bed early, but it's not. It's been pretty good. I'll and Gavin gets to see thing. him too. Gavin yeah. used to not see him ever. Daddy, Gavin used to be like, Daddy, what you doing here? I'm like, what? I don't live here, man. <laughs> it's my house. All right, so, so we're, gonna we're going there. We're going to see. Hope you guys have a good day. Peace.
<laughs> she started running faster too. Look. <laughs> It's so beautiful. Yeah, I'm sure. Well, they're doing something, they're setting something up. Jesus! Jesus! Yeah, that's right. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. That's what we're going to do. I know, I know you know. Oh man, you know, the pick gods, there's really much, not much you could do. Yeah, but it's good. It wasn't bad. It's basically, I have the same job as I do now. So. Yeah, in summer, you could do anything during the summer, any day. Yeah, sometimes it's better to it's just break even. right here? Word. <laughs> I think that's a sprinkler. Oh yeah, it is a um, But I kind of broke even, basically. It's the same. I have the same days off, yeah. Tuesday, Wednesday. And basically the same hours, the same day. Yeah, so. so we're good. We good. It's not bad. We, we make, make it work. work. Word, that's how it is, that's man. That's how we do. We're going to probably... Never get on the cyclone. No, I got on the cyclone. You and Gavin got on that. I just can't get over. I got on it before it's Gavin made out too. Of wood. And it just shakes a lot. Every time the you see that shit moving. I mean, I guess you like to be scared. I know you're scared of them. I know you're scared of roller coasters. Oh my, here we go. This is the ultimate scared experience because this shit is rocky. It's very rocky. But it's cool though. It's dope. I will never, never, ever, ever. I love. Is it open? You want something? I want candy. I mean, kind candy. Oh, it smells as fucking good. Should we get Gavin something? Yeah, he also likes popcorn, but we can. Yeah, popcorn. Yeah. Hello. Hello. How are you? <laughs> you couldn't leave Coney Island without your own. I love cat candy. <laughs> like one thing that I don't really like cat candy, but one thing I do like. Is this one. I'm gonna, it's gonna take me like a week to eat it, and nobody even touches. Gavin's gone. You're gonna, you're gonna be fighting with that. You're gonna be fighting for that like, as soon as Gavin sees you. Alright, girl, you sound serious. Serious. <laughs>